In Nigeria, the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Delia Laki, has expressed shock how elite residents could not speak up when they noticed illegal activities in the area. The visibly disappointed minister emphasized that the federal government's course of action regarding the Ibadan explosion will be based on the findings of the ongoing investigation. Olaide Oyewole has more. It's almost a week after the deadly explosion shook the entire city of Ibadan, and the memory is still fresh in the minds of many residents. A few days after expressing empathy for the affected persons, the Minister of Solid Minerals Development is now physically present at the scene of the incident to assess the situation and evaluate the progress made by the responders. Clearing of the debris is almost at ground zero, and the rescue operation team remains vigilant for any potential emergencies. The minister expressed shock at the level of damage, but more shocking for him was residents who kept quiet while these illegal activities continued in the area. Kind of explosives to be stored in a residential area for years. and not a slum in a high profile environment where you have enlightened citizens. This is not the uh, idea of your slum or there, I need my mention. Mm -hmm. Regarding the individuals responsible for these incidents, the minister says no one will be left off the hook once investigations are concluded. It will be presumptuous and precipitate for the federal government to make any solid pronouncement or categorical pronouncement on this until we have examined all the forensic analysis reports, all the investigations from all the agencies, the security agencies, the mines inspectorate division of the Ministry of Solid Minerals and the intelligence arms of the various intelligence arms, arms of the security agencies. They are all working around the clock to ensure that there is an authentic and verifiable forensic report. The minister also visited Governor of Oyo State, Sheima Kinde, and applauded him for taking proactive measures in the midst of the crisis. He had also visited the victims of the explosion at the University Teaching Hospital in Ibadan, where he extended his wishes to the affected individuals. Olaide News, Ibadan.